After conducting the test, we can conclude which belongs to the null hypothesis or is the alternative hypothesis. If the p-value is higher than the significance level, so insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Hypothesis test may result in two types of errors depending on whether the test is accept or reject is completely based on what null hypothesis. Hello students, this is Asha, the faculty of computer science at Vidyasham first grade degree college, the temple of excellence Mysuru. So let's welcome to the today's session. That is the unit four and in unit four, this is the session one in a statistical computing and also R program. Let's discuss what are all the unit four contents. So here you can see a statistical computing and modeling, hypothesis testing, components, testing proportions, error and also analysis of variance. These are all the topics covered in a today's session. Let's discuss one by one. A statistical testing is nothing but a statistic involves a hypothesis testing about the population. So population is nothing but you will get confused. What, is, what do you mean by the population? So here you can see a population is nothing but a, a data. So data in it is also called in a population or the samples data in a statistical computing. Why? Because it uses some statistical and also scientific words. So that's why population is defined as a what data and also sampling data. So here you can see uh, nothing but a, a formulate a null hypothesis, usually statement of no effect or there is no difference. And also what alternative hypothesis use statistical test for that t test and also what c square test and also to determine whether to reject or the null hypothesis to accept the null hypothesis. So this is what about the statistical testing. A statistical testing is nothing but a, you know basics of statistics that is all the mean and also mode median. So these are all the some basics of the standard deviation and also these are all some basics of the statistics. So statistical testing is why we need because if we want the population to difference between two population and we have to gather the data using what a sample or statistical testing using some the data or the population. So let's do what are all the modeling or statistical modeling we can also say uh, this is the process of creating a mathematical representation of a system or process. So after processing we have to use a visual representation of data uh, representation so in a mathematical format and also it involves creating a models that can predict the outcome based on nothing but a, a variables and also common types of the linear regression. It uses what? Linear regression and also logistic and also ANOVA. So ANOVA is nothing but what? Analysis of the variables. So here you can see in a statistical testing, in previous session you already get to know what exactly the basics of statistics and also types of the statistics. So under that a null hypothesis and also what are the types of the hypothesis let's discuss. So hypothesis testing is nothing but in our program includes making statistical inference or the about the what population or the data sets and also it helps access the validity assumption and also draw a conclusion based on the samples of data. So for example let's consider you have a data 1 so which includes which includes a variables called 1, b, c, d and also these are all some data and in a data 2 or we can say or uh, this is a population. So in here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all the data. So we have to draw the conclusion. For example, if we want the student data in a graphical representation, so then the theory information it is useful, right? Because it's a graphical representation, we can assume or the we can conclude the data. What are all the who are all got the highest percentage, lowest percentage in a graphical representation. So that's why it's important. So when I draw these two or uh, data into the hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is nothing but a, a two samples including what? Uh, for example, this is what hypothesis testing for the two samples. This is how the graph will be generated. And also key steps to include formulating null and uh, alternative hypothesis. So these two are the types of the hypothesis. After conducting the test, we can conclude which belongs to the null hypothesis or is the alternative hypothesis. So let's discuss the hypothesis testing. So R offers the R function to discuss a chi square test and also what? T test. These are all the tests we perform on the based on the hypothesis testing. So by comparing result with the significance level and also researchers can accept or reject the null hypothesis 
and also providing values insights into the population which data collected. And also when comparing populations such as testing or evaluating the difference means from the two samples of the data. So we can use the hypothesis testing as a model. And also here you can see a hypothesis test how the samples of two data. So it is the graphical representation of two samples of the data. So the graph one will be generated like and also graph two will be generated like this. This is what a hypothesis testing. And also here you can see our types of as I already told at after applying the data into the hypothesis testing we can generate it belongs to whether null hypothesis or is the alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis is nothing but the a null hypothesis often to denote it will be what H naught it will be denoted using what H H means hypothesis testing but it is null. So null means empty or nothing right so there is no to calculate the means of two a samples we use a what hypothesis testing only two samples not more than that not more than that it will not use hypothesis test we offer a what ANOVA for that. So here you can see I H naught is a fundamental concept of hypothesis testing it represents the default assumption status population parameter such as population mean or variance there is no difference between the two population means that is what null hypothesis and decision to accept the null hypothesis based on the result of statistical test. For that to accept a null hypothesis we have to again test the null hypothesis it is rejected or to accept and null hypothesis if the p value p value is nothing but a, a probability value. So you already know in a previous session you already get to know what exactly the probability. So then the predefined significance level and typically 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 is nothing but we can also write a 5% of probability. So it is denoted what alpha the Greek word alpha and also to accept the alternative hypothesis or to reject the null hypothesis. If the p value is higher than the significance level. So insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. If the p value, if the p value what 0 0.05, if I got 0 0.04, so there is no rejection of that researcher must maintain the default assumption that make a no evidence of the significance level. This is how the null hypothesis we can either reject or to accept the null hypothesis. And also here you can see a uh, alternative the type 2 null hypothesis or uh, that is what alternative hypothesis. In R the alternative hypothesis often denoted as what H1 or HA. So HA is nothing but a hypothesis of alternative hypothesis. H0 means a null hypothesis or we can say this as a H1. So H0 is a null hypothesis, H1 is the alternative hypothesis. If mean of if mean of two samples this is the population one this is the population two if mean of two samples are equal or there is no difference of population one and population two then it belongs to what null hypothesis and also if mean one not equal to what mean two of two population this belongs to what alternative hypothesis this is how the means of hypothesis calculated using the what null and also alternative hypothesis and also while the null hypothesis assumes that there is no significant effect and relationship between two variables and alternative hypothesis proposes and also it represents the claim of hypothesis researcher analysis the trying of evidence and also look here type and also type 2 error type 1 error. So after applying the hypothesis we can generate some errors. So that is what type 1 and also type 2 errors. Hypothesis test may result in two types of errors depending on whether the test is accept or reject is completely based on what null hypothesis mean is calculated mean is completely same or mean is completely different. So that's why uh, these two errors are known as a type 1 and also type 2 error. So what do you mean by type 1 error is the rejection of the null hypothesis when null hypothesis is true. So when the null hypothesis is true so we reject that this is called what false acceptance or false rejection and also the probability of type 1 error is denoted by what Greek letter alpha for a what type 1 error. So come to the type 1 error is acceptance of the null hypothesis when null hypothesis is false. This is a false negative, this is a 
false positive so and also the probability of that letter is denoted by what greek letter called beta so this is what beta it is represented as beta that is a greek word and also it means occurrence of null hypothesis when h not is erroneous accepted when it actually false so null hypothesis is actually false but it accepted as a true that is called what type 2 error but here null hypothesis is actually true but it accept as a what false that is what type 1 and also type 2 error so here you can see how two, uh, two samples of mean is overlap the basic testing uh, approach comprises a observed sample means this is the mean 1 and also this is mean 2 this is a x1 this is what x2 means the two samples are distributed but here you can see the means are distributed equally so for example the graph contains like this there is no samples here so in between the two intersection we got only small number of means in that case so here you can see the means are large this area is large so that's why overlap of two samples is largely when x1 and x2 is equal to 2 so formally the difference of means can be tested using what these two testers or t's test or a welch's test these are all the two tests we can do using the hypothesis test so and next we can see one example how hypothesis will be worked so we have to call the t test t dot test is a function name is what function name so mainly used for the probability or the prediction purpose so here you can see consider two population or the two data that is orchard 1 and also orchard 2 so two having the samples of data contains uh, some numbers so here you can see a result will be using the t test so we call the orchard 1 here and also orchard 2 here when i printing the result it will be generate the result using what t dot test so the graph will be generated as usual as i already told the graph will be connected like this so this is how the hypothesis test will be worked and also here you can see when the null hypothesis is accepted and also when the it is rejected using the assumption table so h naught is true h naught is false when h naught is accepted the correct outcome is accepted and also type 2 error means the false condition it will be accepted as null hypothesis and also type 1 error when the outcome is come h naught is rejected so why because it is actually true but it is rejected using what null hypothesis when h naught is false this is how the table will be worked and also the significance level as mentioned t test equivalence type 1 error and also we have to declare alpha as 0.05y because that is the significance level for the probability means type 1 error type 1 error and also there is a 5% chance that observed t value based on the sample data and also by selecting a approach significance level the probability of committing type 1 error can be declared or defined before any data is collected or analyzed so and also the probability of committing a type 2 error somewhat more difficult why because two samples means are truly not equal as i already told a mean 1 is equal to mean 2 this is a population 1 population 2 when the means are equal means are equal for the population 1 and also 2 this is completely what a null hypothesis so for alternative hypothesis as i already told a difference between means mean 1 and also mean 2 equal or as we can also say mean 1 minus mean 2 there is no difference and also there is no equal between the mean 1 and also what mean 2 this is called alternative hypothesis so that's why when not equal the means of hypothesis test not equal then it belongs to what alternative hypothesis and also alpha so lesser than a 0.05 then also it will be rejected so for alta for null hypothesis when greater than or equal to 0.05 the acceptance of type 2 error or alternative type so here you can see it reduces the probability of type 2 error reasonably level it is often necessarily increase the sample size state and also lastly we can see ANOVA so as I already told hypothesis is completely hypothesis 
hypothesis test is mainly for calculation of means of two population for ANOVA analysis of variance analysis of variance is nothing but what a calculate variance variance of more than two samples more than two samples we can say that is what ANOVA so ANOVA or analysis of variance a statistical method used to compare the means of three or more groups at least one group is different from the others unlike t-test which only compares the groups of analysis or variance or the what we can say a means of more than two so only two samples we have to test then you have to use what hypothesis testing so more than two samples it not accepted using the hypothesis test for that we have a alternative model called ANOVA so we have again types of the ANOVA that is one way ANOVA and also two way ANOVA test a effect on independent variable on a dependent variable so for example comparing the average test scores of the student from the three different teaching methods and also two way test the effect of two independent variables so here you can see it only independent means one independent variable here two independent variables on what a dependent variable for example comparing the test score based on a teaching method and also what gender so here only one method so that is the average score of any student from three different teaching uh, lectures and also here method and also what gender we have to check the two factors here in what uh, one way ANOVA only one dependent variable we have to check this is what ANOVA and also here you can see one example scores and also groups for groups I call a factor function uh, so in a factor method way method B and also each phi and also here you can see marks of the students or scores of the student so perform ANOVA for that we have to use what a o v that is analysis of variance this is the inbuilt function providing by the r for the two samples so again pass the scores and also what pass the groups so this is how we have and lastly summary so summary is also one of the function after generating the result we have to summarize the result will be generated correctly or not so like that we have to use summary function for that output for data frame sum square mean square and also f square so sum square is 175 and also what residuals and also 47 this is the significant code means 0.005 is the last this is how the ANOVA test will be worked thank you